What is up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Barrier Brigade. Today I'm showing you what our overland vehicle looks like. Not that we are very into overlanding, but I grew up loving camping, loving off-roading, and recently kind of heard about overlanding, which is essentially off-roading and camping goodbye. Um, trying to explore, see new places, that is what we want to do, and that is what we want to spend a lot of time doing in our near future. So we've been slowly just kind of getting into things. We have two little daughters. So this is what it kind of looks like for us right now. We do little weekend warrior kind of trips, maybe like even one night things that I'll do by myself with the girls, occasionally two nights here and there. Um, and pretty much what you see right here is what our setup looks like. This is all I really need. There's a few things that are still up in the house like pillows and blankets I didn't bring down for this video. But what I'm gonna show you is a basic setup that I made essentially for free. I built this drawer system out of the spare wood that I had in the garage and we're gonna dive into that right now. First thing that I like to do when I get to wherever it is that we're going, I like to pull this table out in this bin right here. Now this bin usually just holds some of our dry food uh, storage and maybe just a few toys or th little things like that for the girls to play with. Um, the table, I like to be able to pull out just so I can set stuff on without having to set it in the dirt. If it's muddy, it keeps it out of any water that might be on the ground. But this drawer right here is probably my favorite drawer. I should probably show you that you are sitting on a drawer that slides in and out and it has a few purposes. One is as a cutting board, prep surface area. It's pretty sturdy. Um, there's a little bit of wobble to it, but I'm not gonna complain. I made it for free. There's no uh, drawer slides or anything like that. Sorry if I just made a noise. Haven't gotten a new microphone yet. But this right here, oh, minus these. The girls must've been playing in here or Maggie put stuff in here. Although those probably are good to have on a trip anyway, just a basic thermometer. And I don't even know what that other one was, a nose spray or something. This drawer right here is our main cook stuff. I can fit, we have a two burner, Coleman camping stove in here, a uh, handful of plates in here. There's some silverware in here, uh, French press for coffee and the lighters, silverware. In the very back, there are, let's see, I can pull it out. There are cups and I can usually, uh, depending on where we're going, I just have these cups in here so they don't rattle right now because there's nothing else in here. Um, but canned food will fit back here. So canned beans, green beans, whatever it is. Uh, that we that we're taking out for a weekend easily fits in there So that's that drawer and just like this platform that you're sitting on right now. I built this other one with So right on top of this drawer, I'll take this hatchet out of the way I have another one of these boards right here. So it's another prep surface area It pulls all the way out if I needed to I could pick it up and I could take it Let's get this French press out of here I can slide it out and I could carry whatever I'm working on over to the table. So if I'm cutting up vegetables on like a cutting board on here or something, it's easy to slide out, move out of the way, use elsewhere. Um, but it just works really well for what we need it to, what I need it to. And uh, it just kind of tucked in there in storage, right out of the way. And this one, I don't have a, a drawer like I do under the kitchen there. This slide here is a little bit longer because this is the one that I usually like to sleep on. If I'm just going solo by myself or if it's just me and one of the kiddos going, then uh, these are actually part of our bed, which I'll show you in a little bit. But so this is pushed in all the way up against the back of the seat and it fits perfectly right up against the door when it's closed. Now under this one, right now I have, there's a plane flying by. Generally, in this bin, I like to keep some other just toiletries and some other dry foods. Um, sometimes the food, the bin that we keep dry foods in, depending on where we're going, I'll just fit clothes in. That'd be like our suitcase for the weekend. Most of the time, I can fit a lot of our dry foods down here with our Goal Zero Yeti pack. The battery pack has two USB chargers on it, just a little three prong outlet, uh, like a cigarette lighter adapter on there that we hardly ever use. I mean, we use the USBs mostly probably just to charge phones at nighttime, um, but maybe like the girls' tablets. We do have a plug in here in the FJ that we can charge any devices on or computers uh, or camera gear. Um, but for the most part, that's that. We have 
these are the two girls chairs and then me and Maggie have two chairs that fit right up in the back here that I'll get to show you in a second. And then we have these other bags we use occasionally. I just have them in the case right now because it's easy storage for them, but they're just dry bags. You know, you clip, clip the buckles, roll them up, keeps everything nice and dry for you if you're kayaking, whitewater rafting, or maybe just backpacking and there's a good chance it's gonna pour on you. Um, we use those for that. I guess I should also mention that down here, we keep usually a roll of paper towels, some wet wipes and some diapers because our two-year-old, uh, or sorry, one-year-old, um, learning how to use the bathroom still is not fully potter, potty trained, which leaves me to my next spot up here. I'll pull this cooler out. We like the cooler right here on this side when the, for the door to swing open and we'll keep snacks and drinks in here. Easy to get to on the car ride. And I mean, it's our meal for, it keeps our food in there for wherever we're going, but we like to have easy access to it. And then as you can see right up here is a little portable kids potty and we'll pull this cooler out and the girls can sit right on top of this platform here in the back of the FJ if it's cold out if it's raining out if we're just pulled over on the side of the road driving down the highway it's an easy spot for them to be able to sit uh go to the bathroom with somewhat a little bit of privacy uh where they're not you know just sitting out on the side of the road Fritz. there he is come here boy come here what are you doing I had to check on him. I heard him scurry off a little bit. Hey, big guy. Come say hi. Come here. Say hi. Yeah, he's a puppy. Hey, puppy. Good boy. Play with your toy. So like I said before, table's the first thing to come out. We get these bins out of the way, and then we're, we have this open trunk here. We also carry, sometimes, if we're gonna have a fire where we're going, I'll carry this grate around. It's a, uh, shoot, what do they call it? A campfire chef, I think. Oh, there's a name on it, actually. Campfire grill chef, I think is what it's called. Steak pounded in the ground, and then you have a grill or a griddle that you can like spin over, uh, over top of the fire to cook any vegetables on or meat, whatever, cook your meal on. Oh, good boy, Fritz. So whenever we get where we're going, if it's just me or if it's me and one of the kids, even both kids, I haven't tried it with both girls, but I'm sure we would fit just fine. You take the car seats out, put them in the front seats, push the front seats all the way forward, these back seats flip forward and this piece of wood on each side will slide forward and rest on the back and it gives us a sleeping platform. Now one of the things that I don't have in here right now are some pillows and blankets which are easy to throw in day of when we go on a trip. You can also see that we have a storage carrier up top. We'll throw extra clothes or blankets in there. If it's going to be cold we'll throw just some extra gear. Depending on where we're going, uh, if we know we're going to bring a lot of firewood, we will fill that up with firewood um just so we're ready to go most of the time if we're doing that we're on private land we have some friends and family shout out for letting us camp on your land and play on the trails back there but uh have that we also have a high lift jack mounted on the side over here which i have actually used in multiple situations by myself to get unstuck you can use it as a winch luckily i haven't had to use it as that but I've used it to jack up a side of a vehicle to get a rock or a log underneath a wheel just to have that extra bit of clearance if I'm like bottoming out on something. Um, so that's come in handy quite a bit. And then to wrap it all up, we pretty much just have this bag on the back, which isn't even really fully mounted up right now. I just threw it on there for the video. And depending on if we're doing a short trip, I might just throw a little bit of firewood in here Mostly, we do put trash in here, but most of it is recovery gear. I have some straps, um, some D-rings in there. Uh, I'd like to get some soft shackles, working my way up to that. But I usually use this just for trash and dirty laundry, really. I just throw our dirty laundry right in there and just take the bag out. It comes with a couple liners on the inside, so there's a few different bags in there. But overall, this is our setup as a new timing, new timer, like Overland style camping setup. Uh, we have a tent that'll throw in here um, and some other odds and ends like that. But for the most part, it doesn't take a lot to go overlanding. You don't need everything. You don't need all the awnings, rooftop tents. That stuff does make it a lot nicer and a lot easier. And I love it. One of my have some friends that have stuff like that. If you just saw some of the recent videos, he has a full camper shell on the back of his gladiator. That is awesome. It's so badass. You have to go check that out if you haven't yet. Um, but you don't have to have everything to go over landing. Some stuff does make it easier, makes it nicer, more convenient. And I do want to work my way up to that, but starting small, 
slowly building our setup. I'm not gonna dive into it head first and dump all my money that I have into it right away. But this is our setup, basic, easy, and the drawer set, like I said, was free. I built that of scrap wood and some screws that I had in the garage, and I did it in about two nights um, after I got the girls to bed. So that's that. Feel your heart race, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching the video, and uh, we'll see you next time.